Hey there, fabulous Earthlings. Welcome back to the most electrifying spectacle in town. Introducing your dynamic duo, the one and only, Nobody and the Computer. Hey there, a massive thank you, like seriously, a zillion thanks for that super duper warm welcome. But hey, let's not wait another second and dive straight into the exciting stuff we've got planned for today. You see, we talked about making music with artificial intelligence. So, jump in, take a seat, zip it, and brace yourself, because this ride's going to be a blast. Today, we're teaming up to cook up some rad MIDI files using ChatGPT. MIDIs, what is MIDI? Well, on this channel, you're going to find this epic video where I gab away about the magic of using artificial intelligence to rock out with MIDIs. Want to dig deeper, like uncovering the untold history of MIDI and mastering a bunch of funky tools? Well then... Zip on over to that other video first, my friend. But hold up. If you're a total MIDI rookie, no worries. You can still join the party and watch this video. Together, we'll learn a bunch. And with some sweet help from our buddy, ChatGPT. And yes, ChatGPT is pretty awesome with languages, right? And guess what? MIDI is a language too. Hey, ChatGPT, could you write a MIDI file for me? As an AI language model, I'm unable to create or directly output non-textual files like MIDI files. However, I can help you generate the textual representation of a simple MIDI file, which you can then convert to a proper MIDI file using a converter tool or a programming library. A MIDI file consists of various messages that control the playback of musical instruments, such as note on off, pitch bend, and program change. Here is an example of a simple melody and textual representation that you can convert into a MIDI file. To convert this textual representation into a MIDI file, you can use a programming library like Mido and Python, or you can use an online converter tool by searching for text to MIDI converter in your favorite search engine. OMG, this is so cool. So you, ChatGPT, being an expert in text generation, can actually whip up some text that'll magically turn into a MIDI file and create awesome music? Sure, but they brought up some programming mumbo jumbo like a secret language called Python. What is that? We, we are, are artists here, not, not some, some code, code wizard. wizard. I get it, I get it, but Pinky promised this is going to be a breeze. You won't have to lift a finger to install a thing on your computer. Plus, programming these days is as easy as pie. ChatGPT's got your back, dishing out code and fixing any boo-boos along the way. Just follow me and you will see. But wait, give me the Python code to convert that text to a MIDI file. Okay, here you have it. Alright dudes and dudettes, we've snagged ourselves some Python code, but you know what? We're all about keeping it easy-peasy. And that's where our good pal Google Colab swoops in to save the day. It's super cool because it lets anyone write and run Python code right in their browser. Plus, we can share the notebook with each other using just a link. Oh, and did I mention, we get a free GPU to play around with. So, wait, so all we gotta do is hit play and boom, we're good to go? No coding wizardry required? Yeah, just follow me. Nice, but I like the cloud. Could you give me the code for a Colab notebook? Certainly. Below is the code for a Google Colab notebook. This code installs the Mido library, converts the textual representation into a MIDI file, and lets you download the resulting MIDI file. To create a new Colab notebook, go to colab.research.google.com and click on New Notebook. Then copy and paste the code below into a new code cell in the Colab notebook and run the cell. After running the cell, the output MIDI file will be saved in the Colab environment and you'll be prompted to download it to your local machine. Whoopsie daisy! It seems like there's a little hiccup in your code, chat GPT. The error is this one. Can you fix it? Replace the existing code cell with this one. Alrighty, let's give this code a whirl and see what happens. Uh-oh, we hit another error, but don't worry. I don't want to be a snooze fest with these pesky errors. So, some time later. After a roller coaster ride of chats with chat GPT, we've cracked the code. And oh yes, we finally have our rockin' MIDI. Yeah, but what the F I do with that MIDI file? Oh, you're in for a treat. You'll need a DAW, you know, a digital audio workstation. As for me, I'm jamming away with the fantastic Ableton Live. Anyways, we've got this MIDI file we downloaded, so let's drop it into a MIDI track in Ableton Live. We'll give it a little flair with an instrument, say a piano, and let's jam out for a bit. Wait. What? Whoa, yeah, I know this melody is like super duper basic. You are right. But don't forget, even if it's not exactly a chart topper, we did whip up this MIDI file using ChatGPT. So, how about we spice things up and see if ChatGPT can cook up a more exciting tune for us? Well, it works. Could you make something more complex with harmony and melody? Certainly. 
Here's a simple example of a melody with harmony, represented in text format. Awesome. Let's snatch that text, plop it right into our Google Colab Code's text representation variable, and bam, what magic awaits us. I'm sorry, what? That's no good. Yeah, yeah, I get it, but hang tight with me because we're about to turn up the heat. We'll put pedal to the metal and keep at it until we hit that sweet spot. So are you going to show us some good music or what? You know what? I've got an idea. This text format for MIDI files is a total pain in the neck, don't you think? We don't really need note on, channel, and velocity. We just need the note and the duration of the note. Hey, just pitch and duration, no velocity. Express the duration of each note as a fraction of a whole note. An eighth note, 0.125, is one-eighth of a whole note. A quarter note, 0.25, is one-four of a whole note. A half note, 0.5, is one-two of a whole note. A whole note one is the standard unit of duration. A double whole note two is twice the duration of a whole note. Zero and 0 0.25 is a silent of quarter. With that simplified format, make something complex and give me the code for Google Colab. Here is the complex melody using the simplified format with silences, and here the code. Okay, copy that code, stat. Let's see what we're working with here. Alrighty, we've got something cooking here. These low notes ain't ringing out because they're way too low, so let's copy them and paste them into a groovy bass track. We'll switch up the instruments and... Wait, what about some drum and more playful synths? Hey there, techno enthusiasts. Let's ditch the chonga chingi for a bit. And how about you request something more like one of my groovy chorales? Okay, Johann Sebastian, take it easy, man. Your wish is my command, maestro. What about a Bach chorale? Creating a Bach chorale requires a more complex composition approach, since it usually involves four-part harmony with soprano, alto, tenor, and bass voices. Here is a simplified example of a Bach-style chorale using the pitch duration format. The pitches are grouped in tuples of four elements representing the four voice parts. Well, not bad, but... Hey, namesake, your turn is over. I want a cannon made with artificial intelligence. Alrighty, classical peeps, let's keep it friendly and not squabble. What about a short canon? A canon is a musical composition that features multiple voices repeating the same melody, but with a time delay between them. Here's a simple example. Okay, let's try it. Alrighty, pals. It ain't half bad. Maybe not the greatest tunes in history, but hey, we've got something here. And the sky's the limit with possibilities. Listen to this one with the prompt. A lovely musical piece inspired by Frédéric Chopin. As you can hear, it's not Chopin. But ChatGPT gave us an idea. Something to work with. Something to draw inspiration from. And that's precisely the point, friends. I'll be a sport and drop the link to this notebook in the video description so you can have a ball tinkering with it. Piece of cake, folks. Just run those cells. Start with the package installations in the first one, then snatch this prompt to put ChatGPT to work. Afterward, you'll find examples below. Swipe your own data to craft custom MIDIs. And if you hit a bump with an error, no sweat. Copy and paste it into ChatGPT and watch it work its magic. Easy, easy like Sunday morning. What an adventure, folks. Holy guacamole. Isn't it an amazing slice of humanity's timeline where AI swoops in to help us stretch our creative wings? Catch y'all in the next video. Adios, amigos.